New tonight, a Colorado girl moves to L.A. and goes from waitress to running an exclusive poker game with stars like Leo DiCaprio, Tobey Maguire, and Ben Affleck sitting at the table. Well, that is the plot of the Academy Award-nominated movie Molly's Game. It's based on the real-life story of Loveland native Molly Bloom. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen sat down with the real Molly, talked to her famous family about what's real and what's happened since the movie. I got served a lot of humble pie and I actually needed it. What if the decision to do what you thought was right? I was looking at some jail time. I was looking at losing all my money. Cost you everything. I had no one to blame but myself. That was hard too. There's one thing you can bet on. I'm Molly Bloom. Do you know about me? Everyone loves a story about a second chance, especially if it's true. Nice work. Thanks. For years, Colorado native Molly Bloom ran one of the most exclusive, most expensive private poker games in the world. Her name was synonymous with poker. A-listers came to win big and lose big. She got the tips. I saw someone lose $100 million. $100 million? Yep. Her book about her high roller ride, Molly's Game, is now an Academy Award nominated film starring Jessica Chastain as Molly. It's not their names. I'm protecting Charlie. It's mine. Molly says the movie stayed remarkably true to life. Come on, cook it, Molly. Starting with her competitive skiing career, cut short by a fluke accident. I literally what? tripped on a stick. Really? That's yeah, real? That's real. Also real, her famous family. Well, you know, girl. No. <laughs> her youngest brother, three-time world champion skier Jeremy Bloom, got to watch some of the actual games. Fun at first, but then it changed. Living that close to the edge couldn't last. Even someone as gifted as Molly was bound to fall. I knew that it was getting dangerous, and I said, Dad, I'm scared for Molly, and, and I, it's to the point that if I got a call from the police and said that she's missing, I would not be surprised. Her father, Dr. Larry Bloom, a CSU psychology professor, also suspected Molly's game was up. I think she was using money like a drug. But the money and the drugs were just a piece. They had no idea how dangerous it really was, and Molly was all in. Did a mobster actually put a gun in your yes. mouth? Yes. That happened. That happened. In the end, it took an FBI bust to shut her down. Ultimately, she says, save her life. My motives were pure greed and, and power and money. I was in so deep, and I just, I, I don't think I was getting out. This is where Molly made a choice. The FBI really did offer a deal if she'd turn over hard drives she said could have ruined lives. She turned it down, and the so-called poker princess became a convicted felon. I made a choice to run these games. I made a choice to take a rake. A lot of people are like, well, why did you protect them so much? I was protecting myself. I was protecting my integrity. To really get her life back, though, Molly had to go deeper. That's when I moved back to Colorado. That's when I really leaned into a 12-step program. That's when I started meditating and, and showing up for my family in a way that I hadn't for a really long time. Thanks. These days, she spends her free time visiting her grandmother, practicing gratitude, measuring success a different way. Have I been honest? Have I been kind? Um, have I done things for others? Doing these things that you always hear about, but you never really think are the answers, you know, and, and finding that they are the answers. It's what every parent hopes for when the road has been so rocky for your child. And I feel it as a gift from up above that has come down on our family. Let's be honest, anyone would sometimes miss the lap of luxury. I miss like those thousand dollar sheets, you know, like that are just... No, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, well, <laughs> it's better not to know. <laughs> what matters more though, is this chance for redemption. Stay up, Molly, stay up. She started from scratch before. This movie gives her a better hand and a real shot at a second chance. I'm all for ambition. I'm all for success. It's a bigger picture now. It's more comprehensive. Otherwise, no amount of success is going to ever, uh, you know, make you feel good. All right, and looking ahead, Molly has big plans, doing a lot of speaking, rebu rebuilding her network, and eventually creating co-working spaces for women. And I have excerpts from all of our interviews with the scoop on Toby Maguire, her brother, describing <laughs> a game he saw, and some other interesting details on my Denver 7, Jacqueline Allen Denver 7 Facebook page. $1,000 sheets. That was fast I don't know what that's like right either. There. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no. Oh, that was so interesting. Thanks, she's Jacqueline. an interesting person. Definitely. Thank you, Jacqueline.